You've been there a long time now. Um, maybe just some of the some of your favorite uh, favorite guys to play with uh, over the years. Um, you know, obviously there was the the the, uh, the two years with with uh, with Big Country John Bryan, and you know Robin was there too. Um, just maybe talk about some of the guys you really enjoyed playing and and why. Uh, yeah, it's no secret. You know, Steve Essekamp was there. He's a great guy. Dane Watts was a great guy. Um, but I think my personal favorite still to this day was Isaiah Swan in that one year. Um, yeah, I think I'm, you know, it's just, I rarely, I mean, they love John Bryan and they love Jeff Gibbs and they loved a bunch of people in the city. But for some reason, the way that people connected to Isaiah was unreal. He, I mean, he's a true showman. He loves to, um, you know, to show off, and he loves. You know, when when he made two threes, you everybody knew it was just going to bring it across half court and shoot a third one. And he made those a couple of times. So the you know the arena didn't never really had any seen any, uh, seen anything like it before. And, and you know those were those were some fun games. I just loved it. He was so he loved the crowd. He loved the gym, and it was just fun to be on the court when he was having some of these moments. And yeah, that was. Those were good times. Your contract now is that is that out the end this year? Then is that just I I don't actually know. yeah. So contract year yeah, this Mark, year. Yeah, it is my contract year. Yeah. Um, you know Pascal Roller. Um, had, you know was played at uh, played at Frankfurt for seven years, national team player, all this other stuff, and then kind of got the itch to to go abroad. Played one year in in Italy, and then came back, and you know obviously finished his career um, in Germany. You know, you see Robin, you know, Benzing go to Spain, um, you know, Heiko's gone to France, you know, claver has gone and come back, Joe Fortman's gone. Um, is 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 going abroad? I mean, we just talked about how you want to stay at Ulm and, 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 and see everything and see everything through and all that other stuff, but is is going abroad and just seeing something different, is that an issue you have at all? Um, no, it's it's obviously uh it's obviously interesting i i can't really picture myself uh changing teams in germany um so yeah the, the only thing that that's maybe left or you know i'm i'm really interested i'm interested in other other cultures i speak a little spanish uh you know i love to travel so if i could if i could soak in a different culture or just be around uh you know uh other other ways to look at basketball that would be pretty cool um at the same time, now I'm just at a level of comfort where things got to be perfect. Uh, you know, I don't want to just, uh, you know, I got a wife now. I, I'm hoping to have a family, a bigger family than that soon. So, you know, it's just different. It's not anymore where I'm just, uh, you know, I have uh, basically two suitcases at home and I just throw them in my car and we change teams and live somewhere else for, for a couple of months and play basketball somewhere. So it would really have to be in a, an absolutely perfect situation for me to leave. Uh, nevertheless, it's, you know, it's not like these situations are not black and white, you know, it's always, um, I know that a lot of things speak for, you know, leaving and challenging yourself again and leaving your comfort zone and maybe winning something and all like, there's a thousand things that, that also make sense on the other side. And I, you know, it's not that I'm just blindly, blindly, just always just whenever Thomas Stowe gives me an offer sheet, I just don't even look at it and just sign it. But um, yeah, it obviously has to be. I would have to be a great situation or a great spot, and where I'm really intrigued, and and I, I wouldn't rule it out that I would be interested in something like that. Everybody knows me, you know, knows I, I, you know, I'm interested in the in the young players. Uh, you guys have a couple of interesting kids there. Uh, David Kramer um, is uh, starting to to work his way slowly but surely into the team. You also you guys also have uh, uh, Marcel Pongo. Uh, may you just give us a couple words about each of those guys. I mean, yeah, David's been uh, been around for three years. Um, I really like his attitude. I like his uh, I like his mindset. He's he's super aggressive. Uh, he, I mean, he defines himself by scoring. He's a scorer, and I think that's a great thing. He should really keep that. Uh, even though I understand that if you usually your way to become a rotation BBL player is defense and make smart decisions and don't turn the ball over. And he's more of a guy who's going to make a bad decision every now and then and turn the ball over every now and then. And I hope he, I hope he keeps that and channels that because if we could see, you know, I think if if, if there's something that we need more of is that's guys who, 
German guys who also play, but also are, you know, ball dominant and, and score and, you know, are, are threats and not just be the typical, you know, I play three and shoot an open, uh, I play defense and shoot an open three every now and then. So I'm a fan of his. He got ways to go. He got ways of, you know, of calming himself down every now and then in certain situations, but, uh, but I love him. And um, he just got to find a way to beat me in one-on-one games every now and then because it really gets boring. I think it's uh, we had 30 and 0 or something. Um, but yeah, Pongo, he's a smart kid. He already sees uh, passes that I, I definitely was not able to make uh, back in the day. He impresses me. He's very poised. He has his own speed. Um, I really like him. He has a great attitude. Also, he's he's really a, really a nice guy. Um, yeah, but yeah, I just hope that, um, you know, all makes the next step. Uh, it's been a while since we, uh, since we had a guy really making, really breaking through. Yoshka has been on the, on the brink of it for a while now. Mm. Um, and I think it would be nice for us to, you know, to really have the, uh, the next guy that was in our academy or in our system for a couple of years. And we really, we really turned him into, uh, a, a legit BBL player, so I'm I'm excited about this. I'm excited about that. We have a bunch of young kids, but it's also you know we also under pressure. I feel like a little bit because um, if you were one of those big teams, I think you also it's also your job to every now and then make sure uh, the basketball German basketball uh, gets another addition. You know?